Hi everyone, this is uh, Diego Flores again. Uh, today is my second entry into uh, this vlog where I'm kind of taking snapshots of how I feel going through the San Diego Code School front end program. Um, today is Thursday, December 12th. Uh, I'm currently working on the front end web development program. I started on November 16th and currently I'm on week four. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Um, just kind of working, you know, chugging away. So it's not scares, not bad. It's just kind of good. Uh, learning, learning a lot. Uh, the biggest challenge I faced this week was learning what you can and or some of the little nuances of working with React. Um, specifically, since my last video, I've done a change mortgage and change calculator. And uh, with the change calculator, I had it's kind of similar to a project we did before. It's just a little bit more advanced, and it's done using React. Uh, so I thought, like, slam dunk, I'm just going to get some of my old code and pass it over. And I was really proud of what I had written before. And I thought, like, this is clever. It'll work. Um, but I kind of faced a challenge when I realized that part of what I was doing was trying to mutate something that React didn't like. So part of my code that would affect what would later on be like setting the state um, was trying to mutate. So I'd like var, for example, x is equal to x plus 2, and it was in a loop, so it would kind of keep changing. And that just kind of kept popping in air. So I, I, I remember you can't mutate certain things, and I, I think that's one of them. So I had to go back and figure out a new way to do that. Um, so I was able to overcome that by making like a new array where I would push in values after each loop and then reference that latest value um, as opposed to just kind of rename or, or updating a variable. So I was able to get around it, but with it was a lot of renaming and troubleshooting and then finding like, I forgot to rename it here. Um, and then, you know, I thought it should work now. And then I realized that there's something else that's, that's kind of like mismatched and not named right. And so uh, it was just learning how to deal with that and just kind of knowing that that kind of technique is probably best to be avoided when using React, um, which with just plain vanilla JavaScript is fine. So it wasn't like too upsetting. It was just kind of something that I thought was going to be really fast. And then I realized like, no, I got to change this. It's not going to work. Um, but that's all part of learning. Like I'm okay with that. I think now it's it, it's like React starting to make a little more sense. I've I've been dealing more with state. I think next we're gonna move into dealing a little more with props and like passing props down or state to prop down, not state, but getting state passing it down as props. Um, so yeah, I think the most important thing I learned was just some of those details with uh, of working with React. Also with one of with uh, the change calculator, I spent more time trying to style, and that was I spent I think like three hours working on styling, and I still didn't feel like it looked great. I felt like it looked like a lot of little details that just don't look that good. Um, so I just kind of realized how much work goes into becoming good at styling, and even though it's something I've kind of been I want to say avoiding, but I've just been working more on the logic and getting like functional solutions. I do think I have to, just to be better, more well-rounded, spend some time um, trying to like get those little details, like learn about rounding corners and, and kind of aligning things, because I think I learned a lot in those three hours I, I dumped into styling, but I know there's so much more. With everything, there's so much more left to learn, so I'm happy I'm being exposed, but I know there's still you know more work to be done kind of independently where... You only get better with practice. And going back to React, that's what's nice. I feel like it's starting to make a little bit of sense. So now that it's not as scary, it's more of just like, let me practice. Let me do more. Let me do more reps because that's what's going to take me from, you know, okay to comfortable. And comfortable is good. Everyone likes comfortable. But then you move on to something else. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, any advice I have for someone that's kind of going through React right now is just, you know, stick with it until it starts to become not scary. Uh, I think I may have said that last week, but well, last week I said I think it's eventually going to happen, and this week it's starting to happen. Um, and also, if you have someone you can work with, like a, a a buddy that's kind of around the same place, 
it's nice. You know, I've been working with uh, someone there at the school. We started at the same time, and I feel like sometimes he remembers things that I don't, and he'll be like, hey, remember, you can't do that. Um, sometimes I try to give him tips when I'm like, hey, I just realized this. And I think kind of getting that, like, aha moment and going to tell someone kind of helps reinforce it and, and keep it in. And um, so it's kind of nice when you have someone you're going same pace with. Um... Uh, I think that's all I have for this week. Uh, who knows where I'll be next week? But right now, I'm I'm ready to just kind of keep chugging away and 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 learning a little more. So, um, hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next Thursday. Have a wonderful day, everyone.